Good morning and welcome to Mojo's Garden. Today I'm going to show you the front yard. It's quite a bit of a jungle right now. I need to do some trimming. But I'm going to take you quickly through to show you all what's going on. There's quite a bit. We have cactus that's growing in with the dwarf uh, variegated chaffaleras. We have snapdragon. This side is the front where I've got quite a bit going on. This is my favorite part of the front yard. A lot of coleus, again more uh, dwarf variegated chaffalera. They call those umbrella plants. Anyway, the, the peppers over here have really been fun to grow. This one here is Little Bastard. It's completely different than the other side of the yard. Look at the color. It's almost black. They have yet to turn red. These are not done. Um, same plant, not as much sun. Got quite a bit of fruit. And here's some glowing purple as well. Look at the color. The blush on that is pretty neat. And got a habanero next to it, which is given us quite a bit of fruit and he's also taking a break. Uh, next to it is this huge scorpion. Scorpions do incredibly well in our yard, which I love because the taste is amazing. Um, let's see if I can find one here. They're beautiful, beautiful pods. A little blushing on that one. This is probably one of my favorite coleus. I love the way the golden uh, edges are right in the after the beautiful pink in the middle. And there's, look at the colors. They seem to do well together. I've kind of packed them all in. They grow kind of everywhere. I've got them behind the pots, in front of pots. Right now, since this is the last day I'll be here before I leave for four days, I did kind of jam pack them in here to make it easier for the family to water. This one, I really enjoyed this plant. It was suffering really, really, it was bad. It had some really awful looking veins and a friend of mine, Ova, told me to do a few things and replant it and give it some sulfur. And look at the fruit, it's amazing. It all sits all so nicely together. The contrast of colors. I have strawberries here growing out of the, I think these are dragon plants. I can't remember. Anyway, they, they grow like me out here. Uh, the tallest one believe it or not, it goes above my head, and that is three years old. The other ones that you see here are just shoved into the pot. This one, and this one, these were all cuttings from the other side of the yard, and this one, literally just cut and shoved in the pot. Oops, bug on me, I'm sorry. Literally, but just cut and put into the pot. And there we have a minion that my future daughter-in-law painted for me. It's adorable. Another coleus. And my favorite cascading plant we have here. This, I can't even get the whole thing in the video. And this is a huge coleus. I've had it. It will be a year uh, this August, so a full year. I'm very excited. We have <clears throat> an immense amount of flowers and seeds growing in here. I plan to cut these and dry them so that we'll have even more to add to the yard. Isn't that beautiful? It's beautiful. I have some shell. Um, decorations. I like 
imperfect shells. So I'm not, I, I look for the ones that have holes so I can just hang them around. Makes me feel happy. This is also the same color this that I've just randomly placed in the yard. No rooting whatsoever. I just cut and put right into the soil from the main plant all over the yard. Isn't that beautiful? Only bought one little tiny nursery pot, about two or three inches, and just continued to make cuttings and put them into the yard. I have on this side, we have a beautiful fern garden. It's very nice. And this is my Creeping Jenny. I am working on a new waterfall. I do plan on putting a, a pot higher here and have it cascade down into more of it. I find it incredibly beautiful the way that the plant grows. And of course, right in the middle is the mango that we planted from last season. And he's getting really, really, really big. Um, probably Sion's now from the base. Um, he's, he's my height. Um, but I'd say the tree itself is a good four feet tall from the start of the plant up. I'm not sure when he's going to branch out, but maybe, maybe next year. And I've got the ferns hanging down. This is our front entrance. There's some basil, um, quite a bit of mango cuttings. Those are all, well not cuttings, excuse me. Those are baby mangoes from seed from last year. They're doing pretty well. <clears throat> These are all the same age as the one in, uh, that I just showed you, but I've kept them in the shade. Um, the basil here, we're getting some nice seeding. I'll replant that in the uh, uh, winter time. It, we do really, really well with basil in the winter. Got a few more peppers. That one is a cactus cutting there. And just some cute little house plants down here. On this side, I'm drying out some peppers before I leave. And here is my one of my favorite pothos. I've not bought pothos uh, ever down here. I've just taken clippings from an area that we walk where they have some uh, natural areas that... He thinks he's really sneaky, but he has to go away. So you can't have this branch. You can have every other branch. Go. Go on. Go. Go run up the tree. Go. 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 Keep going. Keep going. Go, go, go. There you go. Have the fruit up there. This is what he wants. This is what they're doing. The bird knocked down a couple. There's one. Look at They're knocking him down. The bird is trying to get this one. I'm going to throw him over for him. Oh, I'm here. I leave in the morning. I don't know what's going on. I've been told I have to keep peppers off the counter. We're going to have quite a harvest when I get back. Oh, BB7 needs water. See how he's hanging at the bottom? He doesn't like this hot morning sun. And the orange ghost. Look at these orange ghosts. They're just immense. Look at the brilliant orange. Look at that. I'll flip this one around again. It's all ready to pick again. Oh! There's another frog. I find frogs here in these trees all the time. Look at the fruit. Here comes the sun. Beautiful. Orange scorpion. Lovely. 
pull the canopy up. You can see some of that fruit. They're gorgeous. The squirrel's squawking at me. And this is the fish. Oh no, this is the reaper. It's just blowing up. It really likes the umbrella. And we've got quite a bit going on here. Regrowth on the scotch bonnet. It's really much happier even though it's got some aphids. It's really happy under the umbrella. And check out this fruit hanging all over. This is the yellow brain strain. They all need to be cut off. But we're going to have to wait a couple days, four days, when I get back. Well, actually five, but I'm hoping that the family picks a few of them for us. And maybe even make some sauce while I'm gone. Anyway, I'm going to leave you with this image because I find it to be so fun. I'm going to miss you guys. Please don't get eaten by the squirrels and all the birds while I'm gone. Thanks for watching. So it's 8.30 and currently 83 degrees outside. Real feel is already 86. And really high humidity today due to the fact that we might possibly get some needed rain, it would be nice. I know most of the country has enough rain in certain parts and others are extremely dry, but go figure. Uh, real quick on this one, neem oil has been talked about quite a bit. Uh, a lot of people use neem oil. I find with my heat and humidity that neem oil just strangulates the leaves and somehow must get into the pores and kill it. Um, again, I just use Dawn liquid soap and I make it really foamy and then just apply the foam to the plants. It is in the sun. Um, these are really getting too big for me to move around more than just in a circle. So I'm letting it sit for a few minutes out here and I'll rinse really, really well. Uh, a plant this size, you can almost use the full spray. I do an angular uh, jet on them. It's not quite as strong as the pure jet. And we'll blow all the bugs off of this guy right into the water. And then we'll dump the water on the other side where no peppers can get, uh, no, no ants can hopefully bring the aphids back in. So. Well, and mealy bugs now, which is a wonderful thing. But anyway, that's it.